what's up guys i was 18.5 is over here as you can see the update size is around 570 mbps it will be different for you it depends on what ios version you are which iphone you are using a big question will rc people will get the update yes you will get the update i am using rc update and i got this update and it is around 570 mbps if you are not using rc update you might be getting an update around one gig depending upon your um, iphone again so how you can install this update is quite simple you need to go to settings general software update and over here you will get the update as you can see i want to show you that i'm already using the rc version as you can see it is 18.5 and i'm glad it is here because there are a couple of issues that i want apple to fix so i'm gonna install this update right after this video but i want to talk about what is new in this update and let's begin with the very first thing that is a new pride harmony wallpaper so when you are into your wallpapers now there is a new wallpaper let me show you the wallpaper this is how the wallpapers look like wallpaper look like and whenever you are on your home screen go get back to the lock screen back to the home screen it is changing it is moving every single time as you can see why i'm making mistake anyways yeah this is how the new wallpaper looked like if you like the wallpaper you can keep the wallpaper that is totally on you talking about more changes when you are in your mail app tapping on these three dots will give you the option of show contact photos now turning off it here will blow up the photos right from here it was there previously but now it is integrated into your photos app which is very very nice also when you are in your um let me show you there is a back banner like when you are into accessibility touch all the way down to the back tab there's a banner option so whenever you double tap your phone using this feature for example let me show you i'm gonna select maybe camera over here and turn on the show banner i hope it works for the first time double tap and as there is was a banner and it just locked my phone why that happened because i chose the lock screen my bad camera again double tap double tap and you will see this banner on top that lets you that you just use the double tap option this is also there with this update there are definitely more changes i want to talk about in this video so let me get back to the journal software update and see what changes are there too okay so now parents can receive a notification when the screen time passcode is used on a child device so for example you have you know locked your child device and if he or she uses any passcode to unlock the device the parent iphone will get a notification also there was an issue going on with the apple vn pro app that may display black screen that is fixed with this update also buy with iphone is available when purchasing content with the apple tv app on a third party device also when you are into apple care and warranty screen over here you will see a, a new portion on top new ui on top this one over here that explains what the setting is all about while this was available in different sort of settings now it is available with the ios 18.5 within the apple care and warranty so these are all the small changes that ios 18.5 brings well honestly ios 18.5 was about a big update about a city and a lot more but apple just pushed those things back and now it's a small update now what is big with the ios 18.5 is definitely the battery life and the um, improved performance performance is really amazing and it, battery life is on top like amazing battery life if i show you the battery stats over here i tested out the beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 beta 4 and rc update so i think i'm a perfect person to talk about the battery life so if i get into the battery section over here and show you the battery life as you can see i used my phone a lot 
if I go on this table, I use 100% of my device and I got 8 hours and 32 minutes screen on time. Now, during this time, I use Instagram, Netflix, WhatsApp, TikTok and some other applications. If I go to any other day, maybe this day where I use slightly more than 75%, you can consider it as 80% and I got 11 hours plus in all it's, it's almost 12 or like insane insane i was very active on youtube x tiktok instagram and some other application actually i want to take a screenshot of this because this is insane just to keep it on the other day maybe today i use like 50 percent of my device and eight hours like insane again youtube tiktok snapchat instagram and wow just just wow so yeah battery life is amazing on the 18.5 i'm very happy so people who are facing with the issues like in 18.4.1 battery life issues or going any other issues this update is gonna be for you guys and if i talk about the geek badge score let me share the geek badge over here cpu benchmark cpu history this was the last score i tested out 3338 on a single core while 8298 on a multi core a single core is higher than the average one multi core is also higher than the average one which is very nice and if i show you the gpu benchmark over here that is also higher than the average one 27997 and as you can see it is higher than the average one so on paper scores are good on paper performance is good on paper battery life is amazing and usage is also good now there's the one issue that i was facing in the rc update that when i like go into the camera and start recording from here video isn't recording as you can see the timer is not working over here so video is not recording so definitely i hope that this bug will get fixed with the update because I haven't installed the update yet. I'm going to install right after this video. But this was the only issue that I was facing with the iOS 18.5 RC. Other than that, no issue, nothing else. Everything is amazing so far. And things are really, really nice. So yeah, this is all from this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm talking about the, what is next. Next is going to be definitely 18.6 beta 1. We might get that update this week but let's see also i'm gonna test 18.5 for a while and after that i will move to the 18.6 beta 1 well again this is all from this video i hope you like this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up do like and share this video subscribe to the channel and you know i hope to catch you guys in my next video until that take care peace out